I am Dr. Leslie Tay and welcome back to my kitchen. Today, we're going to make a dish of potatoes and mock pork and pork. Let's talk about it. Mm. Mm. So this is the kind of dish mum always cooks at home because it's, uh, it's the kind of dish that only needs a few ingredients. You need potatoes, you need a bit of minced pork and then you can make this dish. It goes well with rice. But today I'm going to show you a very special twist that you can make it so that it's more healthy for your family. There's a lot of talk about plant-based protein nowadays and all this plant-based protein is a good idea but you know, a lot of them are actually more expensive than the pork. I'm going to show you a very simple trick that will turn an everyday ingredient into minced pork with very little effort. What you need is tofu. This is your normal tofu or we call it tau kwa, the pressed tofu. But I've done something to this tofu to change its texture. So the big difference is this tofu has been put in the freezer overnight and then thawed out and this tofu is just fresh tofu. So we're going to just uh, show you what will happen to tofu once you freeze it and you thaw it out. Can you see there's a difference in the texture of the tofu? It's become a little bit more granular whereas this is still very smooth. Say when you squeeze it, the water all comes out. This change texture of tofu is uh, very much like uh, minced pork when you cook it. But there's one more step you need to do to give it the texture of minced pork. Alright, so this is normal tofu. You see, try to squeeze it. If you try to squeeze normal tofu, it just crumbles like that and very little water comes out. So when you try to fry this, this is very mushy. It's not very nice. The texture is not like pork. If this tofu is very different, watch. See how much water comes out? You can squeeze out all the water and then what you have is something that cooks almost like the texture of uh, minced pork. So what we're going to do now is just we're going to mince this all up. You know if you're going to do this dish for vegetarians, you have friends who will say that they don't eat meat at all, this is a very good substitute for the minced pork. I'm going to do it with a little bit of minced pork because the minced pork will give it that flavour. But uh, at home, it's really up to you. You're going to use uh, all tofu. And uh, you know, I did it on my kids before. They almost couldn't tell. They just knew something's missing That What is it? <laughs> but they never guessed that it wasn't pork. Okay, but one more step to turn this into the texture of minced pork. Okay, so we've uh, covered the pork and the mock. Now let's talk about potatoes. What we need is local potatoes, the really yellow ones that make curry. You can use russets, but russets are better for mashed potatoes and potato chips. But when you want to make this dish, you want something that is really waxy, something that's a little bit more sweet, uh, a bit more, uh, that won't sort of like um, dissolve when you cook it in the, in the stew. So these local potatoes are the best thing to use. So you're just going to cut it very simply into uh, little slices like this, about one centimeter thick. This is the kind of dish, you know, I, I remember mum used to make. But you know, different mums have got different styles of doing it. My mum makes it different from my wife's mum. So when I cook it at home, which style do I cook it? My mum's style or her mum's style? Her mum's style, correct! Alright! All of you uh, potential uh, husbands, uh, you must learn this one. You want world peace? Wife happy, world peace. Okay, we'll start by cooking the potatoes. All we need to do is to oil a pan. Doesn't even need to be hot, yeah? Because basically we're sauteing potatoes. We can start with a cold pan. Why do we want to saute the potatoes? What's the difference between sauteing the potatoes, boiling the potatoes, and deep frying the potatoes? Well, the main advantage of it when you're sauteing the potatoes is the starch uh, is actually subjected to higher heat and so all the sugars on the surface of the potatoes caramelizes so you get a sweeter flavour in your potatoes. If you deep fry it, it's a different thing altogether and if you don't fry it at all, that's the easiest way to do it. You still get to enjoy the potato but maybe you're missing the caramelised flavour. So this is an extra step you, uh, if you really want to make it even better. So once you get that nice caramelization on the potatoes, you can turn off the heat. 
Okay, they are not cooked yet. It's just that the outside is nice and uh, caramelized. So later on, it will still go back into the pan and we need to uh, braise it. So the next step is an uh, important step because this is uh, where we turn the uh, texture of the tofu into really like minced pork. A bit of oil and then uh, your tofu goes in. Okay, so once your tofu is nicely charred, you can put it to one side and you can put in the pork. Now, this is optional. The pork will uh, still give it a nicer flavour, of course. But as I say, if you are really going for a vegetarian dish, you can just uh, omit the pork and have it all just tofu. This is where we put in our secret sauce. This is Kikoman's Sukiyaki sauce. It's the one sauce that you need to make this dish. Oh, look, the smell comes out already. So well, as you can see, it really just looks like minced pork, right? So now the potatoes go in. Add in a bit of water. Now, we just have to wait for it to slowly simmer for the potatoes to uh, sort of turn soft and then for all that flavour to all melt together. Now while we are talking about that, this Kikoman Sukiyaki sauce, I've just started using it. It's a really useful thing to have in your kitchen, especially those of you who are, don't do a lot of cooking and you're just looking for that one sauce that you can throw in everything. This is a, a good cooking sauce. It's basically made from a Kikoman's naturally brewed soy sauce and then it's got the dashi in it, it's got mirin, it's got sake, it's all formulated. So it's sweet, salty, umami, everything is in it. Very useful thing that I've discovered and I've been using it quite regularly in my kitchen now. Now if you look at the uh, sign of the Kikoman, here's a little trivia for you. The Kikoman logo looks a little bit like what? Yeah, look a bit like uh, Angku Kue, right? It's that kind of shape. Because Kiko is tortoise and Man is 10,000. So the uh, tortoise signifies longevity and uh, that is why Kikoman has been around for almost 400 years. Alright, so this is going to take about 10 to 15 minutes of slow simmering. Once the potatoes are soft, all you need to do is to thicken with a bit of corn flour and then your dish is ready. It's so simple. Okay, wow! Haha! -ha. Potatoes are soft and it's done. Just going to thicken it with a little bit of uh, corn flour. For those of us who have grown up eating this dish, I'm sure you start to get hungry just looking at it. This is one of those really just very simple recipes that you can do almost every week, right? Because you don't know what to cook, but you got some potatoes, you got some minced pork, you got some tofu at home. So you thought, ah, make potatoes and pork. Or potatoes and mock pork. Or potatoes and mock pork and pork. Pork, mock pork. Look at how beautiful this is. Just throw in a bit of green. Okay, done. So this is a very common dish uh, found in uh, many Singaporean families. I grew up eating it, my wife grew up eating it, and if you haven't grown up eating it, it just means you are very young. Now, it's the time to try the dish. So as you can see, you really can't tell which one is the tofu and which one is the pork. Look at that. It's all mixed in together already. And I guarantee you, the texture is so close, you really cannot tell. Your kids only like to eat meat and nothing else. You can really trick them to eat something that is non-meat and they'll still think that it's meat. Okay, let's just try a little bit of this. Is this pork or tofu? I don't know. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. And that uh, Kikoman Sukiyaki sauce, it's got a nice balance of sweet, savoury, fragrance. It really is a very versatile sauce that you should have in your pantry. Especially when you don't want to keep too many sauces. Just the one sauce to cook them all. And uh, potatoes have uh, been sautéed so that it's nice and caramelised on the outside. And it's coated with that beautiful sukiyaki sauce. We've been cooking in that sauce for like 20 minutes so it's all penetrated in. Mmm. 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 It's so good. Mm. It's one of those things you can do week in, week out. So simple, especially when you have just this sauce. So until next time, happy cooking.